Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. Coming at you with your Thursday workout of the day. For today's workout, we are doing a minute blast routine. And basically what that means is we're gonna be doing one minute of work followed by one minute of rest. And each minute of work is gonna be broken up into three 20 second segments. The first 20 seconds is gonna be a cardio move, the second is going to be a strength move, and the third will be a core move. You'll do each of these for as many reps or as hard as you can for those 20 seconds of each, the cardio strength and the core exercise, uh, then you'll rest one minute. So that's where we get the one minute of work, one minute of rest. You're going to need to move quickly between each exercise. I program this so that the moves do make that easy to transition from one to the next without wasting too much time. And then um, you're gonna run through each block or each grouping of exercises four times before you move on to the next. So that means we're gonna be spending eight minutes at each block for a total of 32 minutes of working out. So having said that, let's go ahead and go over uh, these the different form variations for each of these blocks and each exercise for block one our cardio exercise our skaters so we're hopping laterally we're sticking the landing go slower if you need to or you can speed it up if you'd like to go a little lower impact do a step and then float that rear leg behind crossing over, then your, then your uh, strength exercise is gonna be a wall sit, find a wall, get up against it, back is flat up against the wall, I've got my knees at 90, hips at 90 degrees, no hands on the knees, 20 second hold here, and then your core exercise are V-ups, or extended toe touches, V-ups, we're raising the legs slightly, we're touching the toes, or you can hold them up and just do extended toe touches. So those are your two options there. Then once you've got four rounds of that, you're gonna move to block two, where your cardio exercise is a half burpee. Hands are coming down, I'm kicking out, I'm keeping my core and glutes tight. Then I'm bringing my feet back to the start, jumping up, hands over the head as many times as I can. Just like so. Try not to sag. Don't put too much pressure on the low back when you go to kick out. Keep everything nice and tight. Then your strength exercise are close grip push-ups. So we're gonna have hands inside of shoulder width. They don't have to be diamond, but they do need to be closer than shoulder width. Elbows stay close to the body. Feet are together. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the core tight. Elbows stay close to the body. As many of these as you can get. If you need to, drop it to the knees. Quick to keep the glutes squeezed. Keep that core braced. And you can also do them this way. And then your core exercise are front plank hip dips. So you're going to immediately after the 20 seconds of the close grip is up, drop to your elbows, keep your core tight, rotate from the feet, tap the hips on either side for those front plank hip dips. Then of course you'd rest one minute before you roll through that three more times for a total of four. Then moving on to block three, your cardio exercise are squat jumps, feet are hip width apart, toes are slightly pointed outwards. We're going to make sure the knees track the toes as I come down. I'm driving the floor away, <clears throat> making sure to land softly with the hips and knees. Lower impact for that is gonna be a very fast squat to calf raise coming up on the toes. Then for the strength exercise, you've got wall or floor rows. 
if you were doing it on the floor, it's going to look like this. Elbows are at 60 degrees away from the body. I'm going to drive my elbows into the floor, squeeze between my shoulder blades to bring my back up off the floor. <clears throat> if you'd like a slightly easier version, you can do the same thing with a wall. So leaning up against it, keeping the core tight, driving the elbows into the wall to pull your body away. The further away your feet are, the more weight you're going to have against the wall and the harder it's going to be. And then your core exercise for block three is a reverse plank hold. So we're going to come to the floor. We're going to bring our hips up, squeeze the glutes, keep the core tight. Make sure to breathe. Holding this for 20 seconds. And then of course you would rest your one minute before rolling through that again three more times for a total of four rounds. And then moving to your fourth and final block, your cardio exercise is a lateral running man. Use the space that you've got. We're jump doing kind of scissor hops going laterally or sideways. As many of these and as fast as you can in 20 seconds. And then your strength exercise is a alternating curtsy lunge. So front foot is forward, toes are pointed forwards. I'm going to start an overhead hold. So I want to bring my arms in a Y, thumbs towards the ceiling, hold them up, elbows as extended as I can get them or as straight as I can get them. Then I'm gonna come behind, try to bring that back knee to the floor and I'm just stepping into and out of it to alternate. Control it, get as many reps in as you can in 20 seconds. Uh, then your core exercise is Russian twist. Feet are up to make it harder. Make sure you're leaning back, keeping your core braced. Rotate your entire upper body, make sure the shoulders are turning and you're doing as many Russian twists in 20 seconds as you can. Of course, rest one minute. Once you float through those three, repeat three more times for a total of four rounds, and then you are done. You have completed the minute blast workout of the day. So make sure you give that a shot. Let me know how it goes, and I'll see you next time.